Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to connect DB2 with data clip. So at here, this is the data clip and here the very first step is you need to go database. Here database. Now here after click on plus. And here data source. So there are bunch of different uh, or data source it comes. So I'm going to select IBM DB2 and there is one important thing DB2 must be installed so if I go on start and if I scroll down now here you can see IBM DB2 and here inside there you can see all these all options are available DB2 command window here command line processor plus and here db2 for mason center via version 11.5 now here after the first we need to download missing driver okay no driver files for db2 so uh, you can uh, use at here ibm db2 or you should directly write at your username so username at the time of installation you have given the username the same username you should give at this place so username db2 admin and give the correct password and here database that is the uh, installation tab i have given the database sample so when that all correct click on test connection now here download the drivers so to file it's a downloading so i think uh, it uh, almost done file is downloading now here it's so uh, right now uh, stabilizing performing data based connection and here test connection now here green signal that means the uh, db2 all the information is all correct and your db2 connected now apply and ok and here this is the loading or db2 now here after now a schema it's come adam inside adam there are 26 tables 19 views 1 materialized views 5 synonyms let's see what to add your tables so here you can see contest table double click on the contest table now here at this place control table it's a processing and this the record now here you can see department table and here total 27 rows if you click on the plus you can add the rows and this is for delete the rows So this the way and if you want to create the tables right click on the table here new table you can create and here you can copy the reference drop you can drop the tables here this is for re replace so this the way we can connect to IBM db2 with the data grid so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week